<laughs> well, Anjani, thank you so much for helping my project. No problem. Um, can you say a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm a 14-year-old, a freshman in high school. I live in the Houston, Texas area, and I play tennis. That's fantastic. So, do you realize that there's not been a single day of your life when there was nobody in space? That's insane. Isn't that insane? Yes, it is. Um, what do you think it would be like playing tennis on the moon? I think it'd be really cool. Oh, really? It'd be so much fun. Because, <laughs> well, A, the concrete's different. Or, like, the surface. And then gravity. But, like, the difference in gravity would also be really cool. And just, like, a lot of other factors. It'd be interesting to see uh, how fast people could run. For sure. Those astronauts on the moon uh, just hopping around. <laughs> it seems like tennis is probably... Uh, not their game. <laughs> um, so, did you know that we were planning to send people back to the moon in 2024? I did not know that. Do you know the last time we had people on the moon? No clue. No clue? No. Do you think during your lifetime? Yes. Yes? Yes. Would you be surprised if the last time we had people on the moon was 1972? Very. Uh, that's unfortunately yeah. the truth. That's crazy. That's even before That's my like, lifetime. That would have been 50 years. Yes. Right? And by yeah. last year was the 50th year anniversary of the first time, which is 1969. Uh, so not quite 50 years, like 48. Close enough. Okay, I mean, when is that far away? <laughs> of course, it's a lot farther away for you than me. It's like only like five years and two months for me. Well, not close enough. Yeah, it's really... But what do you think about it? I think it's really cool. Well... I think it's cool that they're going back, but it's not cool that they haven't been there in so long. Because if we want to get anywhere with space, I think the moon is the closest like, other area to go to. Do you know how many women have been on the moon? Zero? Uh, right. Uh, only 12 white guys were on the moon. <laughs> not surprised. So this time, they're planning to send the first woman on the moon. That's really, really cool. Now, what do you think about that? I think that's amazing for her and for just like women all around the world. I was telling another high schooler, um, a girl in fact, that they were planning to send the, the first woman and the next man on the moon. And she's like, is it a dating show? <laughs> <laughs> like, that would... I'd believe it. You believe it? <laughs> It'd be a good show to watch. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, I, yeah. Um... But, uh, you know, not everybody's happy about us going to the moon. I don't see why. Like, do they have reasons? Uh, some say, you know, we have global climate change, and uh, we have poverty, and there's people hungry. Why are we sending people to the moon when all these things are happening? I think overall, sending people to the moon will help science find, or will help, like, researchers find out so much more about the moon and the world we live in. So I think overall, it's a good thing to do. Um, if it was safe and affordable, would you go into space? Depends for how long. And, yeah, I think it'd be cool for, like, a short period of time. Like, um, 15 minutes? For like, sure. Oh, uh, for sure. How about for a week? Yeah, probably. It'd be like a vacation. Would you, uh, go to the moon and come back? Or just, like, stay right around the Earth? So, be like... I would go to the moon, probably. Uh, I think that'd be cool. And uh, do you think in your lifetime we'll have people that were born in space that never went to Earth? No. Oh, why not? No, I think that's too far away. And if they aren't sending people and it's been 50 years, I don't think it's feasible for someone to like go there and start because they need like a hospital or at least a safe place. I do not think it's possible for the next like 50, 60 years. Um, do you know how come we don't go to space that often? No. Well, um, we launch rockets, and they're used for two minutes, and oh. we throw them away. I think they need to make a better rocket. <laughs> a better rocket. <laughs> That's, it's probably easier said than done, but... But they're, they're doing that in uh, Boca Chica, Texas, uh, where they're building the, the Starship, and oh. it'd be 100% reusable. And... That would be really cool. Yeah. I think that would also help space. Um... Do you think people will make it to Mars in your lifetime? Yes, I think so. I think that's, well, I don't know how far away Mars is. I'm sure it's further than the moon, but I think it's doable. 
Do you, do you think you'll have like a Mars rock ring at some point? No. No? <laughs> Not anytime soon. Uh, so I've been asking people like about what they think about space and the future for like um, over 300 interviews so far. Mm -hmm. What are some good questions I should be asking? I have no clue. Just okay. <laughs> ask their opinion about space and just travel traveling to the moon and that stuff. What do you think about the capability of leaving Houston and arriving in India in 30 minutes? I think that would be really, really cool because right now the trip is like 12 hours long, but I think that would be a really cool thing to do. I mean, it's kind of neat to think about like right now you can leave, go to India, it's like daylight, mm -hmm. spend a few hours there, do <laughs> just some shopping, get, and then come back. And nobody even knew you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, so, if you... Okay, 500 years ago, you know what happened? No. Christopher Columbus sailed from Europe and came, you know, found the Caribbeans mm -hmm. in uh, North America. Mm -hmm. And since then, the Americas and the world has changed, like, so much, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the airplane, the telegraph, the radio, the... Uh, Electric lights, uh, what are some other things? Um, the fact that the world isn't round, or that, is round. Yeah, <laughs> we found out it's round, but satellites, um, uh -huh. space travel, um, <clears throat> GPS, I mean, all these things. All the things that we have today. Now, if you think about another 500 years, we what does learn, humanity look like? We could learn so much more about everything. Because I think there's so much more than just what we know today. So I think I'm excited to see what's happening or what's going to happen. Oh, any predictions? I don't know. Do you think we'll still have bodies? Yes, yeah. hopefully. Do you think they'll still be the bodies we're born with? Definitely not. I think humans are going to have to evolve and just all organisms. Uh, and what does that look like? I have no clue. Just like, I don't know. We might not eat oxygen as much as we do now, or water, or food. We might be more de or independent. But, um. Well, um, oh, I gotta tell you, I am sending this video on a micro SD card to the moon next uh -huh. year. That's really cool. Yes, and I'm envisioning, like 100 years from now, a 14 year old just like you, is going to like some type of world history which has a whole different meaning at that point uh project and she has an ex uh, assignment you know go and um write a paper about what it was like before the new space age right mm -hmm. and she comes across this video and this is the video that she's going to cite in her paper that so would be epic. what do you want her to know about your life It'll probably be different, but right now we think that like this quality is the best that it's gonna get. Well, cool. Well, um, thank you so much for participating in my project. No problem. And um, anyway, we got over 1,500 more of these to do. <laughs> you have some friends? <laughs> okay, bye. bye.